Cool, so in this video, what I'm gonna go through is giving you an average time frame of how long it should take to really set up a interview template and even potentially post that interview if you've completed it already. Okay, so we're gonna start completely from scratch. You're gonna see the time in the top right corner um, to really get a feel for how long this process should really be taking. Okay, because oftentimes we can maybe overthink a little bit of the process and that makes us sort of procrastinate a little bit or maybe just take a little bit longer than we need to. But let's get into the, the optimum efficiency way of tackling these interviews. So first and foremost, what I'm gonna do is go to parkbench.com and I'm gonna set up an interview template. Now you could do this before or after the interview. Okay, so I'm gonna go into my control panel and navigate to the interview or interview draft section. Okay, I'm gonna to go to the interview drafts one and I'm interviewing a business owner, so I'm gonna select business owner interview template. Okay, now I'm doing just a video interview. I might add in a question or two, so I'm actually gonna go with the light version. Okay, so I'm gonna click on this one here. And what I'm going to do is just get rid of some of these fields here. If you're doing this for the first time, you won't have these things pop up. Okay, so nice and empty. I'm just gonna make sure step two is clear and step three is clear as well. Cool, so we've got a blank template here. All right, now what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna open up a new tab and I'm going to go onto Facebook and find the business profile page on Facebook for this business. Because I'll actually use that to copy and paste a lot of the information over. Okay, so this is something you can get from your interviewees. Okay, uh, just say, hey, where can I find you on Facebook? Or you can even find them yourself. Now, in this example, who I'm going to interview is this really cool business called Snakes and Lattes. Okay, so for any of our Toronto sponsors, definitely interview this business. It's a fantastic place. So we're going to go to Snakes and Lattes. I'm just going to search this in Facebook because say they didn't give me the Facebook page. I can search the name of the business here and then click on Pages. Now, once this comes up, I can find the business profile page of the business I'm interviewing. I'm going to go with this one here the one on College Street. Cool, now I've got this business profile page in front of me. Now, this is when I'm going to start importing some of the information from Facebook into my interview template. So what I need is the business name, the interviewee's name obviously, and their position. I need the business address, their phone number, their email address, the category, etc. Okay, so let's start from the top, business name. We're gonna just simply grab snakes and lattes or even just type it in, snakes and lattes right and then i might even put in college street okay interviewee full name i'm going to be interviewing matthew kut he is the owner of this business cool so pretty straightforward information so far next up i'm going to grab the address this is where facebook comes in so what you're going to do is grab this address here or even just the top section because if you grab the how many miles away it is it might sort of change the auto pop-up that will appear. So I'm gonna search the address in here and you can see number one, I've got the address that pops up right under there. Now, if this business did not have an address, I could just tick hide address and that way I don't have to worry about it. But ideally you wanna grab it if they do have an address there. Next up is phone number. This is an optional field, but it's a very easy one to grab on Facebook. So I'm gonna grab that anyway. So I'm just gonna copy it from the Facebook page on the right side and paste that into that area, okay? So we've filled out quite a few fields so far. I'm gonna put in their email address. This is something that I grabbed at the interview. However, if you didn't, what you can do is get into the about section of their Facebook page. And oftentimes you'll find that there's an email address here as well. So I'm gonna grab this one and I'm going to put this into this space. Okay, now that's really important. That's gonna create a user account for the business. Uh, so make sure that that's a correct one there. And ideally it's their one personally. Now, business category. This is quite a, a unique business. This business is a board game cafe and bar. Um, so you might not have a specific uh, category for that there. So what you can do instead is type in restaurants, might even type in bars and pubs. Um, and maybe there's even something for recreation, indoor recreation. Okay, so we've chucked a couple of categories in there. Looking good so far. I'm gonna choose the neighborhood. I'm, I've only got one neighborhood here. I'm just going to choose Matt Town, but ultimately you can change this later on in the title. Now, business image. A lot of times people put a lot of stress and effort into finding a image that's suitable. What we can do instead is just go to the Facebook page here and grab this image. 
So right click it or two finger click if you're on a, um, a, like a MacBook and you'll open up a new tab of this image. Now what you'll do with this is you can click on this image here. Sometimes you can just click straight into it. And once it loads, and my computer's going a little bit slow, once it loads, it'll appear nice and big in front of me. Now what I can do with that is I can just copy this and save it or right click on it, sorry, and save the image. Now this is going to give me the ability then to have this image stored down here because I'm using Chrome, nice and easy. Don't need to worry about finding it later on. All I need to do is go back into my interview template and drag that image at the top. Now I've got the business image locked in. That's an optional field done. Awesome. Next up, I'm gonna need the Facebook page of the business. Okay, I'm gonna need the Facebook page. I could use their website, LinkedIn. These are optional fields, but they're good ones to put on. I'm gonna go back to the home page of the Facebook page I was already on, right? This is why you wanna use this and just copy this here. Then you just paste it in here. You can get into the website here. You can also find that on their uh, side here. It says snakesandlattes.com. So I've clicked on this here. And what I can do is just copy this URL. It just basically turns into data entry. Okay. Now I'm not sure if they'll have a LinkedIn, uh, but a good area to check on their websites is down towards the bottom of the page. You can often see these different links. Okay. Now I've found their Facebook feed, their Twitter feed, their Instagram, their YouTube. Google Plus is one that you won't need. Uh, and all I need to do is just open these up in new tabs again. Okay. So I've got lots of these things here. And then I just, same process as before. Once I go to these tabs, I just click on it copy it and then paste it into my interview template. So that was the Twitter feed, putting that one in there. LinkedIn, we didn't find one. So we're not gonna to stress too much about that. Instagram, we've got up here. So I'm just gonna copy this again. And I'm going to go back into the templates and paste that in there. YouTube channel, I can grab from here as well. Cool. So now pasting that in there. So that's been about four or five minutes. And what I have found is the name of the business. I've already know the person's name I'm interviewing and their, their position. I found their business address. I found their phone number. I found an email address if I wasn't able to find one uh, or get one from the interviewee. I put in a couple of categories for this business. I've chosen the neighborhood, uh, which is very simple because I only had one site, but it's just a simple drop down menu. I put a business image in there and I put their links to their social platforms. That's in about five minutes time. Now, if I wanted to add in any coupons or deals, I could just type those in there. That's something that you want to discuss with the person prior to this because you have the ability to upload a review coupon, which requires a review to be left by the member of the community before they can redeem it. Or you can upload a new customer coupon. Now, a new customer coupon can just be redeemed by anyone, but it can only be redeemed once Okay, for new customers. All right, so you simply just type in those ones in there. They'll be able to use their business account to edit this information later on and they'll get sent their login information, etc. Okay, I'm gonna leave these ones blank here, but basically treat it as the period that I've been talking now is how I'm gonna fill out that information. Okay, so next step, I'm gonna go into step two. Now the light version does not have a lot of questions on it. Okay, it has one, which is what do you love most about the neighborhood? The reason why this one question is on there is because this question is left as a review or, or sort of a review of the neighborhood on your homepage. It appears just over your cover image. So if you want that review there, simply just type in the answer to what they said. So I'm gonna put in uh, what they said in the interview. I might've noted this down and I'm just going to say, um, I love the parks in our lovely Matt Town community. Uh, they are a great place to bring the family. Cool. Something simple like that. Now you can add in extra questions, such as add an additional question in there, if you feel like there's anything relevant to put into that space. Um, with the, the full version, you'll have a list of questions you can already use, but you still have the ability to add in your own questions there. But say I thought something that I found on their Facebook page was quite interesting. What I could do is maybe get into their about section and find something that I think would be kind of useful. Now in their about section, you've often got a description of what the um, sort of 
business is, for lack of a better term, about, right? So maybe I can use some of these for the summary and even to add in content into the interview template itself, right? So what I might do is add those in as a question or jump over to step three and add them in as the summary. And all I need to do is really just copy and paste this information here. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this here and paste it in here. Cool. And I'm gonna get that top section as well just because it was gonna capture that little image here if I had copied the whole thing. Cool, copy this. Nice and simple. All right, so lots of information now in my summary. If I am doing a written interview, what I'm going to do is put in a photo of myself and the interviewee as this blog image. Now that's a requirement for your money back guarantee. So you've got to make sure you're doing that there if you're doing an exclusively written interview. If you're not doing a written interview, that's absolutely fine. What you'll be doing instead is putting in your video URL at the top. What will happen with either of these options, whichever one you choose, either the thumbnail or the, the um, sort of the, the still shot from the video you're doing or the blog image will be used as the main icon for your interview. Okay, so let's go to YouTube now because I've done all this uh, that I can really do here. Let's go to YouTube because I'm going to post a video interview. Now, the first thing that I'm going to need to do is upload the video to YouTube. Okay, now you might do this first. Okay, actually before you start filling out this template, simply because if you're getting this out of the way early, right, and it's uploading, you could be doing all these other things at the same time to really save you the most time. Okay, but all you need to do to upload a video is to either create an account or just log in with your Gmail account because you'll automatically have one and then click on this little create video or post section. Then click upload video and what you're wanting to do is drag and drop the video that you're wanting to upload into this space here. Now, depending on your internet speed, it can take longer or shorter to upload. My recommendation is to use your Wi-Fi. Most of the time, your Wi-Fi will be the fastest connection that you've got, uh, ideally with an ethernet cable, but if you don't have that, that's fine, just using Wi-Fi. And once this is uploaded, because this is gonna change it for each person, once this is uploaded, what you're going to do is you're going to grab the video that you've uploaded, say it's this one here, and what you're wanting to do if we go and view this on YouTube is we want to grab the URL from this video. Now the URL from this video is unique to this video here. Okay, so it's specific to this video. That's why it's you know the one that you're wanting to grab. It's not gonna be duplicating anyone else. So you're gonna copy this here and you're gonna go back into the interview template, and paste that into that space. Now, the last thing you wanna maybe touch on is the headline. The headline is going to show you the name of the business, and then it's gonna say in the area name, and then it's gonna say meet the position of the person and the person's name. These fields are automatically populating. Okay, if I go back to step one and I change this to Darren, right, and removed College Street from here and go back to step three, you can see that the headline has now changed. Now, this is built this way because the headline is so important for SEO, your, your ranking on Google. You want to make sure that this is um, something which includes plenty of keywords about that business. Now, a lot of times people stress and think over, oh, I've got to create this amazing name, right? This, this awesome name that's going to be great. But by doing so, they're adding more time into the process and delaying the interview being posted. But on top of that, adding extra stress of thinking of this amazing name, but even potentially they're diminishing their SEO or their ranking on Google. So keep it simple for yourself. Use the headline that's already there, or you can rearrange it, right? You might go over this and say, meet Darren Lee, the superstar owner of Snakes and Lattes. Um, and then you put College Street and you know, Toronto or whatever the area name is. Uh, cool, something simple like that. Now you could add in a couple of adjectives if you wanted to, like I put in there for superstar, it's really up to you. But ultimately, once you've got the headline out of the way, and we're at about 13 minutes, including my sort of explaining of things, 
When you preview this, what you're going to see is a refined, complete interview. Okay, so you're going to see the headline at the top, right, which it's very good for SEO purposes. Now, this is just loading through here, but you're going to see this video in front of me expand to get nice and big. So we've got that video there that we can play on the for the interview. Okay. Now, this will be replaced <clears throat> with a image of yourself and the interviewee if you've preferred to do a written interview. And then underneath, we've got a section for the summary and any questions that you've decided to add in there. Now you have the ability to add in photos with the questions if you want, but it's not required. You could actually just leave this out if you really wanted to, right? If I thought, mm, this doesn't really look that good, I can go back to the interview, go into step two and get rid of this, okay? Then go back to step three, preview this, and maybe what I'll see here is more of a refined look for this interview, okay? Where we have the video and then a short blurb underneath. Now, what you might be thinking is, hey, I want to add in, you know, some images to this summary. Well, the way that you're going to do that is once you've posted a interview, which I'm just going to use a different one here because I don't want to post an interview which um, is connected to Snakes and Latte's email address. Say you posted an interview here, right? There's just an office video there. What I'm going to do is navigate to these triple dots and click edit. Now, when I do this, I'll be able to add in images to the summary or any area of this information that I wish, okay? By simply grabbing images and dragging them into that space as well, okay? And what you'll see is that they will position themselves in there, okay? And then when I click save, you'll see that it'll automatically format to suit what you've done here, okay? So you can see we've got that video, you've got that Q&A, and then that image. Now you can obviously change the formatting like I did. I just chucked that image into that space, but that gives you a feel for how this works. So realistically, what you wanna be thinking about is it should take me no more than 15 minutes to create this interview. Now it might take you a little bit longer if you're writing out the answers because you did a written interview, but maybe a suggestion for you in the future then is to use a transcribing app, which is really gonna maximize your efficiency. Okay, so 15 minutes to get this posted. That is my challenge to you because realistically, that's how long it's taken me to do this here today. Okay.